hey what's going on you know who it is you know what it is all right you guys just got through watching the local news uh saw a story uh that they uh broke uh regarding mark davis at the end of the week meeting with some officials from las vegas about possibly relocating the raiders to uh las vegas now in case you guys don't know the raiders signed a one-year extension just for only one year with the coliseum for only the 2016-2017 season. Now, after after that season, Mark Davis can move the team if he chooses so. Now, this uh, Las Vegas thing is real. Now, here's the thing. I really didn't want the Raiders to go back to Los Angeles, but if they go to Las Vegas, I'm okay with that. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm kind of tired of this shit with Mark Davis dangling the team, you know, playing these games with, you know, the Raider fans that's in the Bay Area. You know, maybe it's just time for Mark Davis to put the fans out of their misery and just move the team because I'm tired of him doing this shit. I'm tired of him threatening to move the team. So it's to the point, you know, if you want to move, man, just go, man. Just just leave it at that, man. Just get, get up out of here, man. So... You know, because here's the thing. Um, I really don't like none of the franchise owners in Oakland. I can't stand the dude that owns the Oakland A's because uh, Lewis Wolf tried to move the A's to San Jose. And because of territorial rights, you know, with the Giants, he wasn't allowed to move the team. And then after a couple of lawsuits against Major League Baseball, they basically told the A's that they have to stay in Oakland, you know. So one of the problems has been with the uh, the Raiders and the A's is Lewis Wolf, the guy that owns the A's. I think that the A's, the A's could have had a state-of-the-art stadium um, in downtown Oakland and also by the Port of Oakland, but because of Lewis Wolf constantly playing games with the city of Oakland and the fans constantly lying you know where the city of Oakland bent over backwards to provide land for the A's to build a new stadium where Lewis Wolf has been the problem he's came with every excuse in the book not to cooperate with the city of Oakland and you know basically if you was able to get the A's you know, into a new state-of-the-art stadium by the port, the Raiders would have been able to pretty much renovate the land, you know, in the property on the Coliseum land and possibly build a new football stadium on the other side of the Coliseum. But because of Lewis Wolf playing these games, it hasn't happened. So, like I said, as far as Mark Davis go, I'm I'm just really sick of this. You know, this has been going on too long, and I'm tired of him doing this to the, you know, the Ra the Raider fans, you know. And as far as the Raiders go, they do need to be prepared for the Raiders to be playing somewhere else. I think this is real, and I just think that it's prob probably going to happen. Now, Mayor Libby Schaff. She bet if she's serious about keeping it, this team in Oakland, she better come up with something real quick because the clock is ticking. Now, the Raiders still have some obstacles to go to, you know, excuse me, to go through before they can actually move. They have to sign a deal. Then they have to pay a relocation fee, which is a lot of money. Then they have to get approved to move out of the 32 owners they have to get at least 23 uh okays which that could be a problem but i will say this much as far as the the city of las vegas man it's just hard i mean i'm saying it's gonna be hard to keep a professional franchise out of that city because one they just got a new state-of-the-art uh arena in the t-mobile center you know that place could hold 19,000 for basketball. You know, it, it holds uh, like 19,000 for boxing. So it's a brand new arena. I'm talking about it just got built this year. You know, 
you know, so if I was a, if I was a professional franchise owner, shit, and I'm from Oakland, I might would consider moving the team to Las Vegas because it's, it's just too much money there. And like I said, I think it's going to be very hard to prevent some kind of professional team from moving there. I know people talk about possibly, you know, it's the gambling capital of the world, but it, it's ways to get around that. So I'm just, you know, putting that out there, man. You know, that's all I got to say for right now. I'm out.